faith. Right. My side is better than faith. To, so to the trans people? To the trans people. And how does your faith relate to what they say? To the trans people? They're, they're satanic. They're what? They're satanic, right? Well, maybe, but one what, 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 what are they saying? To dissolve gender is because right. the devil wants them to be like him. Right. The devil is, is without gender. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I mean, seriously, I didn't know that. Because he's an angel and he's not okay. limited to physical beings. So, so but I thought Gabriel, I thought Gabriel was a, a male. Gabriel was male. I, I, I'd be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, male appearance. But angels don't appear. Yeah. Yeah. Spirit doesn't inherently have gender. Okay, I mean, I, 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 it's above it my pay grade, but I, I don't know. But, it might be referred yeah. to as a he. Because Gabriel is Harry's referred to as he in, in your Bible. Yeah. In the Gospel God of Luke, like, for example, he's called a he. Because we don't believe that God is necessarily a human. You believe God is a father, which is male. Yeah. And you believe Jesus was a man who with, with the private parts yeah, of a man, so and he was definitely God. a man, and you believe he was God, so you believe God does have a gender. In a institutional head of creation. Is that your Sorry? No, because because we, we understand fathers are the leaders of the community and the leaders of the household, so it's, yeah, it's yeah, in yeah, the same yeah. context. Mm -hmm. The son is 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 that same kind of idea, but in a lower in a position below the father. I, thought. I think a lot of what feminists uh, 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 critique Christianity for is that it's because God becomes a male, uh, just half of human. They feel excluded from this. Whereas in Islam, of course, God is not male or man. This is just a linguistic convenience. God is not in any way human. He's completely unlike us. So the whole human race is embraced by his rachma, his mercy and his compassion. When Christianity, many feminists say, they feel excluded because God had chose to identify as a man rather than as a woman. And it's a problem for them. I'm not saying I agree with that, but it, it's what they say, that, that Christianity is, anti is, is not very embracing of women because God doesn't identify as a woman, but as a man. Um, that's what they say. I don't think that uh, that's a big argument to have. I think there's big arguments to have, but I think there's an even bigger argument to have for those people trying to make themselves genderless, like the perceived notion mm. of God, yeah, 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 yeah. and making themselves perceivably God themselves. Yeah. And having their own subjective dominion of morality. I think that's a far, far bigger issue. And that comes from the opposite side of Islam, which is which is the expression of divinity. Because because a lot of communism is based modern communism is also based in Gnosticism, which blends in a lot of which is blended with a lot of the Eastern faith and the idea of Kabbalah, blending with chakra and all of those Eastern traditions believing in human divinity being in everybody and exalting humans and therefore degrading degrading God in that sense, mm. kind of removing God in that sense. They've taken that to the extreme where they don't believe in God, they believe everyone is a God. Mm. Mm. I think that's the biggest harm to mm. the current situation. Mm. So I'm, I'm here thinking, sure, I can talk about Islam and Christianity all day, but today has probably, for me, been one of the most fruitful interactions that I've had. With the trends? With this area. Right, right, right. Though it wasn't the speaker's corner. Right. Because they like to host the protests. And but have they, have they gone now? Are they gone? Or? They have gone. They, they, they got here around 12 and they left, they left around like two or three. Oh, they weren't here that long then? Oh, okay. They got here earlier. Right. Early they like to come early to avoid the basic people mm -hmm. as well. So you have to be very soft voiced and go from secular into the because if you start with, it's really early, because no person will say, no, we start with Tawhid. And I was saying, no, if you try and start with Tawhid with them, they're just going to dismiss you. With, with who? With, with trans rights activists. They're going to oh, be like, oh, you believe in the flying guy in the sky. Don't you? Believe in the what? The flying guy, flying guy in the sky. Like the flying bearded man in the sky. That's, that's the kind of... Perhaps we need to explain that's again. not what Tawhid is about. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but but then they they immediately glossed over and they were like, oh, you're religious, or oh, you're standing over them, or oh, you're Nazis. You can go. Well, it wasn't even Babaya, it was, why are you here? You should probably leave. Oh, it's that time of year, wasps now. I haven't seen a wasp for ages. I won't do anything. I'm going to smell. 
lots of them. Yeah, so... Um, I do think there's something to be said, especially because of the, the fact that Islam has retained its masculinity in a way that I think is coming back to Catholicism. However... You think so? I think the way to, in my opinion, talking to Muslims here has grounded me in my tradition of Catholicism because it's got me to go back and read my scripture and but have do, a better But don't you think the, the Catholic Church. Church today is becoming more secularized uh, and, and more kind of at home within the culture, the Western secular liberal culture. I get that I impression. Think that's a terrible, terrible thing. I think to say or that to you, you agree it's happening? Oh, okay. I but, think I think that if real traditional Catholics were here like they were during the earlier periods, then it would be a lot more than getting killed. By, like traditional Catholics, if like I'm, I would consider myself at this point to be a traditional Catholic, but I'm still quite tame. Quite, quite, quite tame. 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 Okay. Especially considered, considering to a lot of the Gen Z Catholics that I've seen on all the YouTube channels. Because yeah. They're, they're very much we're sick of Vatican II in this generation. We're going to go the opposite way. I, th I think they would benefit uh, hugely from considering Islam as an alternative. Because m many of their uh, uh, disillusionments with the Catholic Church are, 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 are real, but they will find an answer in, in Islam. So about the role of men and women, for example. What, uh, what is a man? What is a woman? Uh, how are we to live our lives as, as families? Uh, uh, and so on. There are incredible answers in Islam, which have sadly have been lost now in Catholicism, which no longer teaches these things at all now since Vatican II, in my experience. I mean, you, you may believe them, but in general, I don't hear them from the, the church. And I, and I get the feed from the Catholic Church. I keep my, I like to know what they're doing. And they never talk about these things. Uh, they talk about some good things. They talk about poverty and so on. Yeah, that's good. You've got but, but when it comes to men and women, it's all, well, it, it, it's, it's just like the rest of the culture. It, it's like, well, men and women should go out to work and they should be treated equally and feminism is okay. What? You know, this is not what you're talking about. And it's not the religion, uh, the, the, the healthy way that we should live our lives. Because men and women are different, and they have different roles and so on. So Islam really is the only one preserving God's religion uh, without but change. But it's without Christ divinity. Of course. And so that's why of course. Get behind that. But as I say, the, the Gospels present Jesus in the earlier tradition as denying his divinity. In Mark chapter 10, he denies his divinity. And in Mark chapter 12, he affirms the Shema, which is the the the, uh, the creed of, of, of Moses, which is the same as the creed of of Islam. You keep, and, and you keep talking about Tawhid over and over again, and I again don't want you to waste your breath on me because I already believe that I believe in Tawhid. Okay, but you say you believe that the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Spirit is God. With respect, my friend, that is not Tawhid. That is not Tawhid. That's not but what it's Jesus the taught. Understanding of but Jesus didn't teach that, Moses didn't teach that, Abraham didn't teach that, Muhammad didn't teach that, peace be upon them all. We must go by what they have told us. We can't invent our own religion. We can't add things to it and change it because we're Catholics or we follow we follow the Vatican. We can't do this. We have the understanding that Peter was given the keys to the kingdom. So you, you have the power to change the creed of God? No. To change Moses' creed, the, the creed, no, the Tawhid? You have the doctrine through... Right. Through progressive revelation. Oh, I see. So, what Jesus taught can be changed and updated according to your beliefs. Is this what you're saying? Well, I believe that dogma can be created based off of that plus additional information. Based on what? Plus additional information. Well, where does because Jesus or, or, Muhammad, uh, or, or Abraham or Moses say that the creed I about God can I can't be changed? Argue with you on that. I can't argue with you on Tower Heat. But if you can't understand the Trinity... I don't understand the Trinity. I, I don't understand I don't the Trinity. That I, can help you. I don't understand the Trinity. Help me to understand it. I think I've tried to talk about the Trinity before. We've gone around in circles. There's a salam. spiritual aspect to it as well. If, you're not, if your heart isn't open to the idea of understanding the Trinity, you won't I used to be a Catholic who believed it profoundly. As a, as a Catholic theological student... What at, uh, you uh, move away? Um, if you want to know. Okay, well, uh, I was at a Catholic college as a Catholic theology student, at, uh, as an undergraduate, studying the Catholic tradition, the Bible, the New Testament in Greek. And I'd, what I discovered there was that 
the later Christian tradition, the Catholic tradition, has changed the teaching of Jesus. That Jesus himself originally did not teach what Catholics believe that he said, but that the Catholics have added to and changed the teaching of Jesus. And I discovered that in a Catholic college, and then I can tell you which one it was if you want to know, um, as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a student. No, as a student in London. And so I discovered this as a Catholic, and I had, and when I then encountered Islam, which which perfectly dovetailed with this discovery. Do you know, do you know Matt Pratt? Who? With, Matt plays with a quiet voice. Oh yeah, on YouTube. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He spoke to a to a to a Calvinist student who spoke to Scott Howe. It was a Calvinist. At I know he's got. I've got. I've read some of his books. Left, yeah, yeah. Left and move over I've read some of his books. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's possible, it's possible when I was a Catholic, I used to be quite a fanboy of Scott Hand. Well, it's possibly possible to come to realizations while you're studying at an institution which is based one way, based off of the way that you view things, understand things in a different perspective. I, th I think the weakness of Catholicism is Jesus himself, that you misunderstand Jesus was. That, that, that's the issue. So. I'm afraid you're not going to find it. <laughs> anyway, maybe we're going around in circles. We are. I'd like to talk about other things which might be a little bit more fruitful and not I talked about so I am a <laughs> I will prepare. Away, you away, are you for Jesus. I am a well, but we, we finish now. We've, oh. I yeah. will prepare you for Jesus. My son and I came from Canada. He recognized you from YouTube. We just came from Canada. Good to meet you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm just, can he's, I just uh, yeah, I gave him a Catholic background myself. Yeah. Oh, really? Cool. I'm, I'm having this, this uh, fine man will become a Muslim. Yeah, yeah, if you want. Can I see you? Nice to meet you. I'm just going to return these. But I think there's two sides to the faith. There's, there's the debating, but then there's also the bearing witness. No, yeah. That's the side that I find more better. Yeah. Is is gentle, gentle dialogue. You also a willingness to ChatGPT. ChatGPT. Do you know ChatGPT? No. No. You don't know? No. Is the AI? You know ChatGPT. Yeah. Come on. Is the AI very revolutionary artificial intelligence? I've heard about that. That has. Essentially, you ask it to replicate the Quran, and it is unable to. It either refuses flat out because, of course, it's an impossibility in the first place. Right? I mean, you know, you think, okay, and this comes back to the what's called the, the God's challenge in the Quran. Right? I see a little bit of an obsession with numerology. Sorry. Yeah, Chat GPT. Okay, I'll look into it. Inshallah. Yeah. Okay, I mean, I can talk about God's challenge in the Quran. Okay. So, uh, do you study or anything like that? You don't study? Okay, do you work or anything? You do, what's your profession? I am a business owner in crypto. Okay, okay, cool. So, if someone came along, okay, and wrote a book Excuse me. about business. Just need to yeah. hand these back to... Uh, and you make a statement. Um, which ones are they? Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is for this one. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. Make a statement that my book is so amazing that no one can say, write one chapter like it ever again. Now that would be a very bold statement, that would be a very you know, crazy and 